did call the meeting, Frontier Meeting Order, on October, October 5th at 8.30. First thing is review minutes from September 12th. I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes as written, please. Second. Very second. All in favor? I'm sorry. That's all right. All in favor on the minutes? Thank, Thank you. you. Damien wasn't here. Yeah, so I wasn't here. Yeah. Okay. Six. Thanks. Patty, financial statement, please. Yes, and I'm sorry I did not get them out to you earlier, um, but with five meetings and six meetings in one night, it's a little. That's all right. Trying. Okay, so um, there is a variance report on top, and then the detail on the bottom. I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to do this this way. I don't so here's the variance report and here is the monthly reports and I'll take back whatever more more sorry last one is this sure thank you um, yeah, you got one more of those, and we need one more of the um, of the full report. You got okay. another one. Darius has got some extras. Darius, you want to pass them back this way or walk around? <laughs> Patty, first, thank you for doing the. Oh, you're variance. welcome. It makes it easy for me too. So. It means a lot, yeah. actually. So. So um, if everybody has a report, I'm going to walk you through this. So in the budget line item, um, contract adjustments, we budgeted $37,152. We've used $36,129, so we have a positive variance of $1,023. We had a vacancy in the English department, and um, we saved $17,854 on that hire. But also, they're not in the English department. They're teaching in the academic support, industrial arts, and social studies department. Uh, we had a new hire in math uh, that saved us $9,074. But we also had a reduction in our Title I allocation of $2,217. Uh, we also had another new hire in the science department that saved us $18,989. And uh, we rolled out in the middle school um, the one-to-one -one computing with the Chromebooks, and we needed to purchase a software called Go Guardian so that the teachers can oversee the use of the Chromebooks. Uh, and that was unbudgeted expenditure of $5,802. Um, we had an occupational therapist. We cut it to a point one. It was a point two, um, and we also um, hired a. a a person whose salary was less, so that saved us $14,306. Last month, you asked about a variance in the football um, line item. It was overspent. $3,700 got reclassed to uniforms reconditioning. So that, um, and then $893 that you're seeing here was supposed to be paid from the student activity football account and we paid it so we're waiting for the student activity to reimburse us so that's why i'm listing it as an 893 dollars variance until we receive that check then lastly um our franklin county retirement allocation is we overpaid we didn't overpay with our assessment was under valued in the budget by $25,000 because that $25,000 we used to get from the federal grants for people who worked who were non-MTRS members, we would take an allocation from our federal grants. In the new federal grant rollout, it was decided that if you don't charge all title all federal grants, you can't charge any federal grants. So we had to take that $25,000 back onto our budget. So because um, the food service program is considered a federal program, we do partial salaries for teachers on Title I, which is a federal program, so we couldn't charge the 94-142 spell allocation grant for that assessment, so we had to take that back in our budget. So right now, through September 30th, we, have, we are to the good $27,334. That's not very much. It's not, but we also haven't, um, if you'll notice, Mr. Uh, Decker, on the last few pages, we have not encumbered our uh, SPED tuitions yet. That has yet to be done. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, okay. So once, we, once I know that those purchase orders are in, 
we might have a little um, more money at that time. And I also have not reconciled the instructional assistance. That's something I have to work on with Mr. Modesto um, because I do think we still have one open position. So he and I need to work on that. And I didn't get a chance to do that before this meeting. So that'll be done for the November meeting. And what is the, where are you taking the money to pay the consultant in the cafeteria from? Well, that's something that um, I'm going to come for with a recommendation for next month. But I mean, we're talking 25 grand or better. I'm thinking that we probably need to take it from school choice. Allocate the shares to Sunderland and Waitley that we can, and then the other we're going to have to. I kind of like to make sure that we capture all those costs on all the share positions. And I know we probably can't do it this year because people don't have their money in their budget. But I think we really should be have a goal for next next school year that they get charged whatever the fair cost is of all the stuff we provide. Mr. Dicker, and I don't disagree, but again, in in lack of a union agreement. But easy enough. We just have to notify we're not going to do it anymore. And then they will agree to the allocation. I'm not saying we're going to stop. I just well, want to make sure we get our money. With the five way. And yes, we can, we, can, we can work on that. I think that should be a goal. So can I ask about... Uh, oh, and... Yes, Mr. Cantor. The uh, the reduction in the, the, the new hires. Why are we suddenly paying charter school wages? Uh, the education level and experience level. Mr. Really? Modesto hired um, newbies. And that was they. Those were. We got some reviews. And when I go into the hiring process, I look for balance between the staff. So it was not the hires were not budget based. We hired the best people for the job. That's what I want to know. And the, I didn't have to ask you. <laughs> and then you had 20 warrants that you signed tonight, totaling one million six hundred and thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars and ninety cents. And I thank you for signing that. And if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go to my next meeting. <laughs> thank you, Patty. All right. I don't see any public comment. You have any public comment for us tonight? You're not, okay. Everybody's tired. By the way, uh, the no Red Sox. advisory report, unfinished business. Uh, we're going to do an update on the building exploration subcommittee. <coughs> we're crushing it. Huh? It went well. Crushing it went well. Things are clicking. Yes. And uh, very much so. We're doing our notice, and uh, we're we're in we're in coordination and agreement with the town of Waitley who. Um, Brian, your town clerk, town administrator, and your select board um, are are just hats off hats off to them just for being good people to work with. And We're doing uh, FRP. Yeah, RF. proposals. RF. Get that big stuff with. So, so that was the quick summary, pretty much. Uh, RF, sorry, sir, but I, that was quick. The RFP is written. Everything. And we made, we're making some adjustments to it. The uh, the committee met and we agreed to a timeline. The, um, our timeline is the RFP would go out somewhere around October 15th. We'll have it open for 10 days. Um, we're hoping to award the sale uh, like December 26th or within that week. By the time we get all the RFPs and we get proof that they, the people who have offered to purchase the place can, uh, can actually finance it, we're hoping that the uh, we'll have the sale done during the week uh, in between uh, the two holidays. And if we're lucky, we won't have to put it on the budget. We won't have to, we won't have to be a further expense for us, which is terrific. And Blakely has generously agreed to work on theirs uh, because of the crossing conferences on both properties to make the, uh, the two pieces, the two properties more attractive that they would actually um, concurrently with us, simultaneously with us sell uh, their piece. Yeah, put ads in the paper at the same time and mm -hmm. hopefully we'll, yeah. hopefully there, we'll have the same bidder looking at both the pieces at the same time. I did so. get um, a little bit of input from Brian uh, Domino uh, for the town of Waitley. Um, the timeline for Waitley might not be matching ours. So we may end up coming back together again and then adjusting the timeline so they can be together. But he's going to try and move forward. He can buy oil. 
<laughs> we might have enough there. We have enough for this. Yeah, year. I think we have. A, I think we have plenty there. We keep the temperature low and. Well, we could. But I thought it was a good, we had a really good meeting last time and I thought it went really well and things are being taken care of, you know, the oil tank, all that stuff was taken care of, the, the contaminated soil was taken away. Um, it's cleared to go, yeah. except for the cross and conferences. This actually could be a minor item for your goal, for your goals list too. I mean, it's, it's a concrete thing, yeah. it's real, and we're we doing it, and people it. can see it. I've been involved in it. I mean, I think the only other thing that we could probably, we should probably do if it, if it does go quick is we've got to find a home for all our records. And I know we've worked a little bit on it, or you've worked a little bit on it, but you know, we've this been. is where the towns may have to step up and say, this is all your stuff towns you're going to have to take your portion of all these records and stuff possibly but I know we have a little bit of time to worry about it so frontier same way there's no space at frontier for record storage right? <laughs> <laughs> we get that out in public right now like you build something. how about the principal's office <laughs> <laughs> the there's no votes no new business um, I have nothing the collaborative yes big things are going on okay uh, there was a meeting last week. Uh, I can talk about what the agenda said. I can't talk about what happened in the executive session. All right, but the collaborative had on the agenda to talk about the acquisition of real estate to expand their footprint, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, to expand their what? Their what? building. Their building. Their footprint. Yeah. Footprint. Okay. okay. And so that that came up. And uh, there's a subcommittee been uh, appointed to uh, meet on it. And Are you on it? Yes. And uh, he loves a subcommittee. Yeah, subcommittee. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a lot, awful lot of issues, and what have you. And you know, the, the, it, you need to have the committee members actually get involved because you're talking a big chunk of dough, and uh, you know, you you're talking you. You're talking three million to fix this. It's in excess of that, okay? And uh, to tell us that. I did, but I said in excess probably. But you know, it's a big project, and uh, so there's, there's a meeting uh, next week, I think. The next week or the week after, uh, I got an email just before I came tonight to, as to what times would be available, and I replied. And there's two different dates. They're on a Tuesday or. And a Thursday, and I'm not sure which which one it is. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of stuff and a lot on the plate. And uh, I did uh, ask to have the uh, director's report emailed to all the board members. Did everybody get it? You should have got it from Donna Hathaway. And it, it talks about what they're doing and how they're going about it, and and what have you. And uh, so that. You know, it's pretty encumbering. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on, and uh, you know, so just so just so you know. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Mr. Darius. Um, you know, I won't read through the principal's report. You guys can do that. It's getting late, but I do want you to take a moment when you get some time to look through the this is the guidance report that um, Shelley Allen, our director of guidance, gives um, to Lynn, and myself, um, and Sarah Mitchell. It's just really is what it's what we what we're doing here. The, it's kind of the uh, statistical outcome of our public education. And so it talks about where the students are going for college last year, last year's graduating class, and it kind of breaks down that data. It talks about which colleges they were accepted to. You can kind of go through and kind of see where they, um, you know, where they get, not some places they're getting into and they can't afford to go, where they choose to you know, you know, go locally or go to a state school, when they're getting into some high powered private schools. And then just kind of you can see where it has been over trends over the time. And so just, um, <clears throat> the last three pages I think you've seen before, it was just the new data added to it um, for those who have been here before. Um, but I just think it's a, it's a, I think it's a fun, I look forward to this because it's fun to see where the kids go. It's a kind of a of our work. Um, and then you, get, you, know, you know, the principal's board in front of you, if you have any questions, I can answer it. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. Anything else? That's it. We'll be adjourned. Thank you. 8.45. All in favor? Thank you. Thank you.